Hi, and welcome to Minute Macros with the New Jersey Watershed Ambassadors. My name is Haley, and I'm going to be introducing you to a little intimidating but absolutely awesome macroinvertebrate today. First, I just want to give you a short introduction into who we are and what our program is. We are an AmeriCorps service program organized through the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, which focuses on watershed stewardship and education. An ambassador is assigned to each of the 20 watershed management areas in the state and then is paired with a host agency in each watershed. I personally serve the Barnegat Bay watershed, which makes up most of Ocean County and am hosted by the Barnegat Bay Partnership. Now, one really cool part of our service is conducting stream assessments for the New Jersey DEP, where we find little animals living in the stream called macroinvertebrates. And then depending on which macros we find, we can actually tell if that stream or river is healthy or not. So it's pretty cool. Now, the macro that I want to introduce you to today is called a Helgramite. Um, Helgramites are a family of insects which include both the Dobson fly and fish flies. Um, and then this over here is the phylogeny or the way that scientists organize all of the animals and plants living in our world. Um, so this specific Helgramite that I found is an Eastern Dobson fly, which are pretty common across the Eastern part of the United States. And I found this guy in the headwaters of the Toms River in Jackson, New Jersey. So it was pretty cool. And just to give you a sense of how big this fellow is, is he's, he's pretty large. So there's my finger there, um, but very, very cool macro. So moving on, the Helgramites that we find in this stream are the larval stage or in the larval stage of their life history or their life cycle. Um, and they got there from hatching from a series, of, an egg mass that is either on a branch or maybe a tree leaf that's overhanging the bank. They fall down from those leaves and end up in the stream, which then they float or swim downstream to a place with quick moving water. Uh, a spot of quick moving water in a stream has a lot of oxygen, which is really great for these guys because they need that oxygen to breathe, but it's also where they find a lot of the macros, the other things living in the stream that they want to eat. Um, so they will, the, the Helgramite in this larval stage will stay and grow in the stream for one to three years before they then crawl out of the stream bank and they try to find a moist, safe place. It can be up to 15 meters from the stream. Um, and then once they find that spot, they'll dig a hole where they'll slowly develop into their adult form. This process is a lot shorter than the time that they spend growing in the stream. It's only about eight to 24 days. Um, and after those days are over, they'll hatch into these larger flies which will is their adult form. Um, now, as scary as these guys look, they don't live very long. The males will only live for three days and the females eight to 10 days. And during this short period of time, they mostly hide in areas of dense ve vegetation where then they mate and the females then will find a tree branch or a, a leaf to lay their egg masses and the cycle continues. So when these macros are in their larval, larval stage in the stream, they are really at the top of the food chain. Um, they, as you can see in the front, let me see if I can turn this guy over there. If you can see in the front right up here, they have some pretty large jaws, uh, which they use to help process and eat other macros living in the stream. And their two favorites are soft-bodied macros. We have the net spinning caddisflies and the black fly larvas. These guys you can see are much, much smaller than the Helgramite. Um, but this role that the Helgramite plays is really important to this stream because they help manage the populations of the caddisflies and these little black fly larvas and make sure that there aren't too many in the stream um, and the stream stays healthy that way. Now, they also play an important role 
as being prey for other things living in this stream, right? Um, so they're not at the tippy top of, of the food chain. There are lots of fish that live in our streams and rivers. One in particular that really enjoys Helgramites is smallmouth bass. Uh, and these fish are also important to us, right? Because we like to catch them. Uh, fishermen, uh, they're so important to, to the, the food that the smallmouth bass and other fish like to eat that fishermen actually use these Helgramites as either prey um, in the live form or they create fishing lures like this guy over here to mimic what the Helgramite looks like, right? So they look pretty similar, right? So though these macros may, may be a little scary and you for sure don't want to put your finger or toe anywhere near its mouth, those jaws up there, they do play a really important role in supporting a lot of fish as well as keeping our stream ecosystem balanced and healthy by eating other macros that are in our stream. Now, if you have any questions about Helgramites or our program, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to either myself. My email is right here, ambassadorwma13 at gmail.com, or reach out to any other ambassador, which can be found at our program's website, which the link is down here. Great. Happy Earth Week, and thank you so much for watching.